As you know, I record my audio separate from my video. Thought I'd use my smart guy voice today. Sound intelligent. <laughs> People are always asking, how do I sync up my audio with my video? Is it difficult? Is it time consuming? It couldn't be easier. One click is all it takes and it's so fast. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick with two different programs, Adobe Premiere and Filmora Pro, which is a cheaper, more easier to use program. I call it the poor man's Premiere. So let's start with that one here. Now what these programs do is they take take the cheesy little audio file that's made with your camera's built-in microphone and they sync it up with the good audio file that you recorded separate and it's really, really easy. All right, so I'm in Filmora here. I've imported my video file with the bad audio track and here is the good audio track that I recorded separately. You don't even have to import it into the timeline. All you gotta do is select both these files and then right click and choose Merge Audio Video. And you'll see a little progress bar here. It's doing its thinking and it creates a new file in the media bin that has the word merged next to it. So this is the new file. It doesn't touch the original files. You just drag it into your timeline timeline and here you go. Here you've got your video attached to your new audio and you can move it around and edit it and do whatever you want. You can do SDI, HDMI. So yeah, so there you go. So there's the first easy way of doing it with a program called Filmora Pro. Now they have Filmora and Filmora Pro. Filmora Pro is the one that has the audio syncing in it. It's inexpensive and it's easy to use. All right, moving on to Premiere. In Premiere, you choose your audio track and your video track. You drag it into the timeline. Make sure they're on separate tracks select all the tracks you want to sync up, you right click, you choose synchronize and audio. That's it. Click and now it's doing its processing. It's really fast too. And it's synchronized. <laughs> But what happens if you have multiple cameras and multiple people? Allow me to demonstrate. I can't stop doing that. All right, so here I did a five camera shoot. I recorded Kara's audio separate from mine. So I've got five cameras and two audio tracks. So what you do is you drag all those files you want to sync up into your timeline and put them on separate tracks, which you would do anyway when you're doing normal editing. So I don't consider this as part of the time it takes to sync up tracks. You're gonna do this anyway in any normal editing program. All right, so here I have person A, the good soundtrack, person B, the good audio, and the five cameras with the cheesy bad audio. Always make sure you have the camera audio on so you're recording what's called a scratch track. That is the cheesy audio that the camera records. It's really scratchy. <laughs> and then, so that is, so now your program has something to sync it up with. So here I have the video with the bad audio tracks and the, gr and the green ones are the good audio. So now all I'm doing is I'm gonna choose all the things I wanna sync up. I right click, I choose synchronize, make sure it's on audio, click OK, and it's doing its thing. Look at that, there goes the progress bar. And there, it's all synced up. See how it's all bunched up there? Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now I don't need the bad audio anymore, the scratch tracks from the videos, so I'm gonna Alt select those tracks and push delete, they're gone, the, the video remains. When you Alt select the audio tracks, it doesn't affect the video tracks. All right, so now you've got only good video and good audio. Now I'm gonna chop off the garbage at the beginning beginning and at the end and so bad and he said wait and he ran to his medicine cabinet it synced up if you select the top video clip and push shift e it turns it off and you can see the one below it that's not it's not gonna be okay that's synced up shift e the one below that difference at all the okay that's good because that's good. Like I always say. Yep, they're all synced up. So there you go, that's how you do it in Premiere. It's literally one click, it's real fast, it's real easy, it's so simple to do. Um, I'm gonna be doing an audio series soon because people are asking for how I do my audio. If you think I have a lot of camera equipment, wait till you see my audio equipment, it is insane. I love tinkering, I like playing with, I wanna see what sounds good and I've done a lot of experimenting. I've done like five years of experimenting uh, with audio and I'm just obsessed with the combinations and how things look and sound. So I'm gonna share all that with you coming soon. But I thought I'd do this really quick because this is a, something that people are asking for. So stay tuned for more fascinating stuff in the world of audio and video with your host, me. I'll see you in the next video. Whoa.